Hi, Control Trends community. This is Eric Stromquist with Control Trends, smart building and HVAC control news you can use. We get a lot of questions on the website about magnahelic gauges and how they work. Think about it this way. The doctor checks your blood pressure for a reason, because basically that pressure allows the blood to flow from your heart through your body. If you get a clog, you got a problem. Same thing with your buildings and same things with your homes. If restrictions like dirty air filters or other restrictions that keep the air from flowing, then you have to troubleshoot it because the tenants are not going to be happy. So how do you do this? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about a tried and true, the Dwyer Magnahelic Gauge. So check it out. It's a short video. Watch it to the end. If you like it, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and give us a like. Okay, so let's look at the basic magnahelic gauge. And as you can see, uh, it's a couple of things. It's a set of magnets. It is a sensor that actually senses the differential pressure, the static pressure. And then it's a helix that winds and unwinds as the magnet is pulled from side to side. You can see how this works in this particular little video clip here. Okay, you can use these gauges in a lot of different ways. Typically what you're gonna use it for is to diagnose airflow problems uh, in a unit. So to do that, you'd be basically putting a pitot tube or some sort of sensor in the supply and one in the return. And uh, the most important thing to remember that is if you got a pitot tube, remember that 90 degree end goes into your airflow. If you get it backwards, it'll mess your readings up. Okay, so once you get the supply and the return hooked up, you're ready to go. You can either read it directly off of the magnahelic, and essentially your equipment will have a uh, differential pressure rating that the equipment's op operating optimally at. If it's not in that range, then you know you got a problem. It could be a, a, a dirty airflow filter, or something could be clogging up your ductwork. Okay, many, many uses of this. You can use it on your uh, AC units, your furnaces. You can use it in commercial applications too, but it's all based around airflow. You gotta get the airflow through the system. Now, at Stromquist, we still, stromquist.com, that is, we still sell magnahelics. It's, you know, especially the Dwyer magnahelic is one of the all-time greats. Uh, still works really well. A lot of people have uh, popped over to the electronic ones. We stock Testo and a couple of other brands that are really great. Same principle, suffers electronic reading, and now we've even got to Bluetooth. So you can actually use your phone to do your diagnostics. Okay, so I will put some links, some individual magflow meters in the, in the notes below. So, uh, so if you're looking for a magflow meter, man, click the links, take you right to the stromquest.com website. All right, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, reach out in comments.